Uh, bleeding disorders, severity of bleeding tendency. We mean by severity of the bleeding, the period or the days of hospitalization. How many days in the hospital? This is first. Uh, also, the frequency of episodes. Recurrence of the disease or the bleeding and the transfusion required transfusion required means that uh, the bleeding needs blood transfusion or not need blood transfusion if the bleeding patient needs transfusion means that it is severe but the bleeding without transfusion means that it is not severe it may be mild or moderate because blood transfusion uh, is hazards carry a lot of the hazards or complication so we can save blood transfusion to the severe cases and hemoglobin level plus 7 gram per deciliter for example hemoglobin plus 7 gram per deciliter so we can transfuse back the cells or blood but if the hemoglobin is more than 7 gram per deciliter it uh, will be moderate and if it's more than uh, 10 it may be mild so in the mild or moderate no need for the transfusion History of drug intake is very important drug, especially aspirin, antiplatelet drug, should be taken, should be considered during the bleeding history of drug intake, because the drug may be the cause. Aspirin may lead to inhibition of the platelet functions and leading to bleeding. Family history. Diseases uh, that are present in uh, families like hemophilia. Hemophilia A, factor 8. Hemophilia B, factor 9. They are sex linked. This is, uh, the genes of, the, of this disease are present on the X chromosome. So it's called uh, sex linked recessive disease. Uh, while vonal prompt is autosomal, the the genes of the vulnerable plant factor are present on the non sex chromosome, so it's called autosomal and dominant. But uh, both hemophilia A, B, and vulnerable plant uh, may present in the uh, families, so it is uh, very important to know hemophilia vulnerable plant.